Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. So let's go for first month survival and first month survival got a new update. Season 8 is ongoing and it's quite good in my opinion. Let's figure that part out how good it is. So season 8 is called the Temple of Ancestor for some reason and we had a temple of uh, temple of ancestor before at season 3 I guess so first of all I have some objectives kill 5 giants in forest or rock location and then I have another quest which I can not actually see the coins or something like that let's see First of all, let's go for first of whispers and go for the tombs. Try to collect the tombs, I guess. Okay, I need to grab some items. Okay, so I need to grab actually the pickaxe. Don't have that. I should have brought that from my base because I do have bunch of resources there for crafting simple items like the pickaxe, hatchet, and uh, the spear. Should have been much more easier for me. But let's see. I will be able to find some wood lying around. Anyways, oh no, and the player's there is here. I don't know the intention of that player, but uh he or she wants to do uh, either he or she is trying to get the chest items or the tombs for the season i'm not sure so need to be very careful i managed to practice here for my defense i'll try to avoid any fighting if i can because i have made a grave mistake of not uh, coming here prepared so that's why I might miss the chance of uh, crafting the or gathering the season items so let's see the plant fibers are quite uh, useful they are far more uh, neglected but they are quite useful because they can be used for crafting bandages and bandages are quite useful because it can run while healing so that's quite good in any situation fighting strong enemies or pvp any situation so wow the leg the leg is real Let's change the uh, Wi-Fi real quick because I think I will need or not. I will have to. I may have to do PvP, so lagging will cost cost me. So let's wait for the loading. Get done. I'm still alive, so that's quite good. Okay, I'll farm for a while because those lingon berries are quite useful also because they can be crafted to lingon berry juice or um, I don't actually remember the name of that item. Uh, which is required for crafting uh, healing slug flux type thing i don't remember the name but you have to put the lingon berry into the distiller to make that i think it's called alcohol i'm not sure really forgot the name but those two uses are quite good because the lingon berry juice can be used for the meat shack by Using the lingon berry juice, I can get actually 44 minutes of mid shack items, and you will get 
around 1 meet in 16 or 17 minutes so that's quite a lot of meat and then that meat can be turned into jerky using the meat uh, ray or meat dryer type of thing I actually forgot the name again so now I do have some items with me and I think I am prepared for taking down the giants I am focusing on completing the giants um, thing Oh no, the commercial. Oh no. Okay, I need to get rid of the auto commercials or commercials in the videos. I think. Okay. The life of that, I think I need to take that out again. Also, let's see what I'll do. Okay, let's close this off. Let's take all the items. Uh, nope, not now. Let's enter the giant's forest. I'm not trying to uh, harvest any uh, ruins or signs actually. I am trying to complete the mission. The uh, five giants in. Uh, rock or first location the uh, orange zone or giants forest tend to contain some giants but not that strong ones for taking down giants the red zone is quite good because that zone is filled with giants bunch of giants giant hermit wood giant and stone giant but the orange zone or uh, the giant forest does have wood or giant hermit, not the stone one. I think I need to better uh, explore this area because we got quite a lot of update here. I did a video on clearing this whole area, but that was a long time ago. Changes could have been made without my knowing, so that's that. Okay, so I didn't see any uh, real players or PvP players, so I'm quite good. That's why I am trying to uh, gather up my uh, signs. Okay, there we go. One player, I might die. So, as you guys can see, I might die, but I managed to survive. So, in this situation, you can do, what you can do is, you can uh, activate or use this uh, flux type of thing to uh, reveal your signs. Those signs will be your personal item. So, even if you die after PvP, the enemy will not be able to take your signs but the drawback is in this plus format you can share them with your uh, family member and also trade them but after that thing is uh, used up and the sign is your personal item you can do that do that so that's bad so collecting those uh, signs and those flask thing is the best route for anyone uh, trying to help out family members or uh, trading so but it's quite risky so that's that let's put all the items i think uh, it's not great uh, idea to showcase my base layout and where where i am keeping my stuff to everyone publicly so that way when the raid happens one might uh, store the items they need by visiting this uh, videos and base layout so i'm trying to keep my layout as hidden as possible but let's see 
So I have made a section of my base, the dumping zone. I tend to dump all my stuff here and later I store them up other in other places. So those items will not be here when you raid. So happy raiding my base. Okay, let's go for the giant takedown again. As I'm doing the giant takedown, let's participate in tournament. It will uh, give me some tournament points. Although I have bunch of tournament points, but you can't have so much or much tournament points. You will eventually need them. So that's that. So I am at Forest of Shadows. I think I didn't focus on the sign. I think it is the red zone. Let's check that out by just checking. I think it's the red zone. Okay, yes, it's the red zone because the tomb here needs a strong access. Uh, sorry, strong peak access. Otherwise, uh, those will not break. And they might contain the special sign. I totally forgot about the sign name. The sign which provides 20 points, 20 season points. So, not the season points, another point. But we should call it the sign point, I guess. 20 sign points. So, if you manage to gain uh, 3 of them, and each zone contains at least 5 of them, you can. If you can manage three of them, you can uh, gain the point of one day because there is a limit. You can only get 60 points every day. So that's bad. Oh no, I got stunned. Now two of the giants are ganging off on me. As you guys can see, the red zone is filled with giants. So it's quite good for taking down giants or this quest even actually. Giant killing quest actually. So let's take this, this one down and try to take the hermit down. I think I need to save up my durability of uh, support stuff. Just uh, I think I should heal myself up and try to use the spear. But the support stuff is quite cheap anyways. So I might use them negligibly. But I, must, I might waste them. So. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I have full HP and now I can take down the giant. No problems. Okay, done. Only one left. One giant to kill. I can see two of the tombs, but I cannot actually hunt them or gather them because I don't have the strong. Uh, pickaxe, so bringing strong pickaxe here and without any armor is a bad idea because you can have a PvP players anytime and they will take all your items, they will not leave anything behind, most of them actually. The personal item thing is quite good for setting up our items from PvP players because they are a bunch of uh, stealers or they are actually raiders they are stealing our stuff by taking us down it's quite fun actually but again you should actually take the items you want not the whole thing sometimes I got my backpack stolen so that's quite hilarious but what I'm trying to say is I don't like PvP that much, but the other sectors of Frozen is quite interesting to me, and I'm quite bad at PvP, so that's another thing. I do uh, plan on getting better at PvP, but the thing is the more I engage with PvP um, events. The more it will, uh, the game will 
this movie are match make with stronger players who have great gear that I don't have so that's that will be very bad for me I don't use uh, epic gear or good gear in the zones for the fear of uh, getting them stolen from the PvP players. So now this this uh, objective is quite bothersome because kill any bosses in combs. Normally it seems uh, quite uh, easy enough. Okay, I need to kill three bosses in combs. We have uh, four combs. Four combs in. Uh, any amount of time in any given moment we have four tombs available to us in two red zones and orange zones not four uh, we have eight actually uh, the orange zone does have one in solo and and in family then there is the red zone four and these are for the wood zones and then the stone zones. Stone zones have the similar amount of uh, tombs, so 8 tombs. Now the problem is we have uh, 8 tombs in any given moment and we have bunch of players in the server. So if we try to go for the tombs, it's always crowded because the tomb does have only one boss and if one of your family member is trying to clear the tomb you cannot complete that mission that objective yourself so that's quite bad so killing tombs in uh, killing bosses in tombs is quite a heavy duty and quite a bothersome objective to complete so there you go there is the PvP player who is aiming, I think, aiming for the tomb. Now there is another one. I need to get away from here because I think they are going for the tomb. So that's bad. Okay, let's try to take down the wolf because he will not give out the chase. So he'll follow me around until I leave the zone so let's see I should not go there the PvP player might attack me okay will I uh, go for the tomb should I go for the tomb I think so the tomb entrance is right there so I might well I might as well check that out if the tomb is cleared or not let's see okay let's take down this giant super quickly the giant is down let's loot the loot them and let's go inside the oh no the giant army got a group let's take him down okay take him down oh no my spear broke do I have any spear? Nope. Let's try to craft one though. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have enough resources for doing the tomb right now. So that's bad. Okay. Can I collect this uh, statue or the sign? Let's do that. Oh no run for my life because this one was a trap chest or trap tomb oh no that player might attack me I need to get away from here and it's quite bad because I don't have any of my healing okay let's try to get out as soon as I can okay I can okay I have my 30 points of minimum 30 points of tournament so that's great also. 
Okay. Let's get back to my camp. Okay, let's try to equip my ruins to my classes. My unused ruins actually. Let's collect the items I have in my inbox, the boxes actually. Okay. Okay, ruin, grab some ruins. Okay, I got the ruins now. Let's grab them and use them up. Shaman. I think I have shaman plus I am not sure though. Let's check that out later. Okay. I will try to repair that uh, thing. The uh, the support staff actually let's figure that part out what I get from the packs the boxes it's a new item in this season this item was not uh, even in game before this season these are uh, random boxes this gives out random items and random items and random amount of items okay let's put all the stuff I can to free up my space inventory space for using those boxes let's see okay where can I put the thing okay Use them up, okay. As you can see. see, the items are quite good from these packs. Let's collect these ones, okay. Now, let's do this one, this one, okay. This one, this one, done, okay. Now, let's keep them, uh, drop them off, drop these items off. They are quite valuable actually. The packs are quite good. Okay. So I have only raw height. I don't know where I put it. Okay. There you go. I have two marks. So that's quite good. Okay. Let's mount my horse and try to store my marks I think <laughs> okay reach my base let's put the marks here I guess okay Nope. Let's put all my marks here and I do have one gift of pudding. I should use that. 